don't have any personal connection with either Israel or Palestine. But I feel very strongly that what's happening in Gaza is an outrage and that the UK should be giving much more support to the Palestinians. I think um, the UK has a moral responsibility, especially because the UK has been involved in, in Palestine for more than 100 years uh, since the First World War and was responsible for the Balfour Declaration and for the creation of Israel. I feel that um, there's been injustice all along in not providing a second state for Palestine. Um, and I would like to see our government taking a very much stronger line uh, to support the Palestinians um, and, and to provide much, much less support for Israel, especially in supply of arms. So that's why I'm here making a protest. So I'm standing here today at the protest and I brought my daughters because 150 years ago, our people, the Native Americans of America, were being genocided. And the population of the Native Americans has been reduced to mere hundreds of thousands, sometimes not even 100,000 per tribe, right? And here we are 150 years later, and I'm looking at these name placards of people being genocided today in 2024. I cannot believe that genocide is still happening. This isn't normal. We should not be genociding human beings off this planet in a day of enlightenment. We have education, we have the media, we have so much more now. Here we are with all of our education, all of our modern everything, and we're still genociding people. And there's still people cheering it on, saying, they deserve to die because they're terrorists and they're Hamas. I was protesting the first Gulf War when I was in high school. Now here I am standing here, 48 years old, a mother, 2024, protesting yet another genocide. And all I can say is, when is it gonna end? Every single human being on this planet should be able to live their life to the fullest, to the highest potential, without having to dodge missiles. When is this going to stop? When are we all going to be team human? When are we going to drop the labels, Hamas and, and anti-Semitic and, and, and even Palestinian? When are we going to say we are pro-human, we are pro-peace, all of this has to end. We all need to stand up and stop this. But the problem is I don't know the answer to that question. I'm Karen, I'm visiting Orkney from Manchester a beautiful place and I'm very heartened to see people here standing for Palestine as we do in Manchester and obviously not as many people because it's a smaller place but great all the same seas of passion and commitment and free Palestine. I'm Marie Collinson and I'm from York and I'm here because I've been to Israel and the occupied territories twice and I've seen the situation the Palestinians live under. Although I have met some wonderful Jewish peace activists as well. And I think it's important to stand here in solidarity with those who are suffering su under such appalling violence, but also to think of those who in Israel who still wish to create peace and harmony and live with and alongside their neighbours. This week marked the 200th day that we've had this absolute horror in Gaza. We, you know, words can't express you know, how we feel about everything that's been going on there. A few weeks ago, we had our kite event when we flew kites here in solidarity with children in Gaza who flew kites for the Guinness Book of World Records. And during our gathering, Chris read a very moving poem by Rifat Alarir who was a Palestinian poet and was killed in an Israeli airstrike on his home with, together with his family, he died. Now, sadly, last night, I just heard that Rifat's daughter, 
who he wrote that poem for, and her husband and their two-month-old baby have just been killed in another district on the hall. So it just goes on and on. You've probably seen that poor little baby that was born by a cesarean section, whose mother and father and sister were killed as well. So over the last week, I've been watching some webinars and they actually were able to link in with two people from Gaza. And their one message when they were able to speak, you know, during the cuts and the bad internet connection was, please ask the world to carry on protesting. If you just do one thing, it will make a difference and it will make us feel that we're not forgotten and that the world is trying to do something to make the situation better. So by coming today, by doing that one thing, you know, you are certainly helping. And, you know, it just gives hope and it gives us a feeling of solidarity. And I'd like to say that the friends today who joined us from York and Manchester, it's lovely to hear what's going on in your communities as well. So, yeah. Finally, the last thing I'd like to say is we are taking great hope and encouragement from the students in the United States, and in Britain and France and Canada, who are raising their voices and saying enough is enough. So let's all have hope and we'll see you next week if there isn't a ceasefire or a ceasefire. So thanks again so much everyone for coming together.